Hi there, thanks very much for having me. Uh, my name is Will, um, I'm founder and CEO of Cutters Club, and we're revolutionising how men get their hair cut. Nine months ago, I booked a haircut on Treewell. I entered my postcode and booked bar shop closest to me. The whole process, including travelling, queuing, and the actual haircut itself, took almost two hours, and I thought, there must be a better way to do this. The on-demand economy is exploding. Why do men still have to travel to and queue in barbershops? So I knew what I needed. I needed a service where I could choose my perfect barber, book that barber for a time and place that suited me, and the barber would come to me for my regular haircut and clean up afterwards. So I immediately went searching. And what I found amazed me. No serious team was doing this. There were a few competitors, but they weren't in the tech space. The UX on their website was terrible, and they didn't have any funding. So I thought, why don't I do this myself? My first port of call, obviously, was validating the problem. I knew I had this pain, but did other men share my pain? At this point, I've been learning to code for about two months, so I put together a really basic landing page and asked my network to share it on Facebook. And within two days, we had more than 100 signups. My next question was, would barbers want this? So in the coming two months, I interviewed 75 barbers and 60% of them said they were dissatisfied with the amount of flexibility they had in their current jobs. Essentially, they were dying for a product like ours where they could choose their own hours. Using this validation, I decided to build a really basic MVP using the coding skills I had at this point. I chose the best 10 barbers from the 75 that I interviewed and built a product where they could set their own availability via a mobile app and customers could book them for a time which the barbers had specified. Also at this point, I decided on our model. I thought a really good way of taking advantage of the recurring nature of haircuts was to use a mix, subscription, and one-off model. So we charged $29.99 for a one-off cut and $26.99 to $23.99 for our subscription plans. At this point, we drove traffic to our MVP using Google AdWords, and in just under three weeks, we had more than 250 signups and more than 80 bookings. And as you can see, people loved us. Also, after every haircut, we sent out a survey, which almost 50% of our customers completed. And when asked how likely they were to use our service again, they gave an average 9.7 out of 10. And when asked how likely they were to recommend our service to a friend, they gave an average 9.3 out of 10, demonstrating the potential virality of our product, but also showing how you can get something really simple into the hands of users and get really valuable feedback. Using this feedback, we've already built a front end of the second version of our product, which we're going to be launching in Stratford in early 2019, the area with our most density cluster bookings during our MVP pilot. So what's the vision? Well, we want to be the multinational Uber for haircuts within five years, and we have a huge global addressable market of more than 10 billion to attack to achieve this goal. To help, we're also building an awesome team. We're in a unique position where I, as a solo founder, already have amazing traction and an awesome product, so we can attract top talent to achieve our goals. For example, we're currently hiring for our CTO role and have already interviewed developers from the likes of Entrepreneur First, UCL, LSE, and Morgan Stanley. On top of this, we also have fantastic advisors who are founders of funded companies and have accepted onto programs such as Seedcamp and Techstars and have really been there and done it. In preparation for our launch in Stratford, we're raising 150k SEIS pre-seed investment for 10% equity. This will give us 12 months runway to get to our first 2,500 customers, our first 5,000 haircuts, our first 400 subscriptions, and we'll bring in £125,000 in revenue. We've already had 45% of this round committed by the handful of meetings we've had thus far, and are looking for the right investors to join us on our journey. So in summary, we have a validated problem, we have a product which solves this problem, we have really promising traction, we have a huge underserved venture scale market, we're building an awesome team. So if you're interested in what we're doing, come talk to me afterwards or drop me an email. Thank you very much.